Hello and welcome guys. Today I'm going to be taking you on a quick tour of our new church building, but we're of course going to start out here with the exterior with what we would see when we first were to pull into the new church building. The driveway is behind us. We are in uh, a treed grass area and as you can see there's parking in the baseball field behind us. Uh, now we start out here not only because this is what you first see, but this was some of the first work done here. You can already see evidence of uh, the effort that's been put in here. These trees, uh, I believe there were trees in there had to be removed where the church currently is standing. There was trees in this grassy area that was removed. There was leveling to be done. There was gravel to be moved. So starting out here, you can already see the immense amount of effort that has been put into even be able to have a spot to place this building. Uh, but of course, we are gonna go now look inside the building to see even more of the work that has been put into it and get a grasp of what it looks like. Coming through the door here, we get our first impressions here of the foyer. Uh, and obviously this is still uh, in, in a zone in construction with uh, HVAC equipment and other stuff throughout here. But this gives you a general idea of the shape uh, of our building and what it's gonna look like. Now, uh, of course, the foyer, aside from being very important for greeting our visitors and our uh, congregations that come through is to take us into the sanctuary. So let's go take a look at that. Coming in through the foyer into the sanctuary, we get our first glance of what this looks like. But of course, the most interesting part uh, is going to be uh, our stage and where we will be worshiping and uh, listening to teachings and stuff like that. So let's take a quick look at what it looks like to be sitting in the audience. All right, guys, so now we get a quick look at what the stage looks like. You guys are sitting a little off center of the middle of the room here, but you can see what the stage looks like. You can start to get a glance, uh, uh, an idea of how big it is, uh, and you get to see where stairs are, and you get to see these side rooms. Now, I think the cool thing, though, is to look at it from alternate perspective. So let's swap where we're standing right now. So we have now swapped places here. Uh, you guys are standing on the stage about where I was, whereas before you were about right here. Uh, and one of the first things you might think is, wow, this place is a mess. And you're right, but actually it's better than it was last week. Uh, it looks like they have swept, because when I was here before, I swear there was more stuff, and you could see uh, broom paths uh, in here. But the other thing you can see here is all the stuff still around, all the equipment still out, uh, because this, like I said, is still in active construction. They're still working on it. Uh, you know, this whole building has been built by uh, church members, or the, you know, the interior part at least. So I wanna show you something I think is really cool about this room in particular. So what I'm hoping you guys can see from your angle here are these trims on the wall, this, this accent that is all across this room. Now these didn't come like this. Uh, in fact, I don't know if you can make it out. I think I have a picture I can show. But there is a massive pile of sawdust in here. And actually, as I said, it looks like they've cleaned it. I might have a picture of before. But there is this huge pile of sawdust and a lot of these little specks of wood right here, little giant toothpicks. Uh, now these are from these trim pieces. Every one of these trim pieces that you see scattered throughout this room and all the kind of rooms connected to it in this open sanctuary, all these trim pieces cut by hand, saving us, I assume, a lot of money instead of purchasing them to just make them on a saw and put the pieces right there. So this just goes to show you the effort and the just labor of love that has been in this building to save us money, to make it look good, and to get this building constructed. So over there's the foyer entry and the stairs over there, but these are the stairs on the other side, and right here is an entrance into another part of the church. Right here is a closet, yup, under the stairs, and then right here is an elevator that actually has something I'll show you here in a second. But what we're doing is we're going in here into the adult classroom. So let me show you that cool elevator thing. All right, guys, so what you can see here is a mini diagram of the church. Uh, if you haven't been here, if you haven't seen this, uh, this is a scale model of uh, the church we're currently standing in. I believe this is what the builders used to uh, build this building, or one of, one of the documents they used to get a idea of what everything will look like. So this is just such a cool uh, diorama, almost, of popsicle sticks that were cut to look just like the building we're standing in. In fact, we are currently right there, if you can see that. So just one of the many cool parts of this building was, even before the building was created, was this, this diorama. Oh, let's see if there's lights. Oh, I already tested, this is no lights. 
So we are now in the adult classroom just off of the sanctuary here. I believe this to be one of the bigger rooms, especially one of the, I think it's the biggest classroom here, but this is uh, for adult Bible studies or of course any other classroom related things that we might need in this lengthy room. Uh, and this room also connects to our kitchen and nursery. So let's go take a look at uh, one of those rooms now. All right, guys, I'm coming out of the adult classroom right there into the kitchen. Uh, this is another very large room in the middle of the building, as you can kind of tell by these columns that are needed to hold the ceiling, somebody else's floor, uh, up above us. So this room will be full of uh, kitchen appliances and stuff like that. Uh, stoves and whatnot. Uh, and then I believe, I believe, don't hold me to this, there's a center island right here that will be, you know, you could put crock pots or whatnot uh, and you can cook off that. And, and in fact, we even have a fridge and a microwave, so we're almost there uh, already. But what, what you're looking at me through is this big serving window. Uh, now this will be perfect for potlucks, church dinners, all that stuff where we can have a line come through here or we can just have a serving tray for uh, other events uh, and whatnot. So this is the kitchen. Uh, this will be a well-welcomed upgrade from our current church. All right, guys, I am again coming from the adult classroom into the nursery here. Uh, now, I was here last week, as I think I've already said before, and there are some changes in this room since I've been here. So within the week, one of the things the guys have done, they finished off this insulation here. This was not here before, you could see in this room, and I'm fairly certain there wasn't a roof. Uh, the lights still do not work, there are still not lights, uh, except this one that used to be on the ground. Uh, but there has been much progress here in the ceiling and finishing up the walls. So they're definitely still working on this. This is definitely still an ongoing project. Uh, but like I said, this is the nursery. This is the room where the children will come uh, to be entertained. Uh, it'll be a nice, safe place for mothers uh, and fathers to entrust their kids in a safe and large environment. So I'm coming out of the nursery. You guys were just standing here looking that way. So now you guys are standing in the foyer, well, the corner of the foyer, looking down this hall. Uh, so when you come into the foyer to your left is this hall uh, where we have an auxiliary door here. Uh, this door goes to the parking lot back here along with the baseball field, and this would be a great auxiliary door to come into. We also, down this hall, uh, have a male bathroom, uh, a closet in between them, a utility closet, and then the female bathroom. As I said, this is the nursery, and in front of you there is the kitchen. Uh, something you might notice but may or may not be able to read is there are these Bible verses on the wall, and I believe that to be have done, I believe that to have been done by our pastor. Uh, and with him on the mind, let's take a look at his office. So in, we, in here we have a little office, a great study for our pastor here. It's right offside the foyer, nice window. Uh, this is, of course, the room where our pastor will be able to prepare the sermons uh, he will be giving. Uh, and as you can see, there is yet another verse over there on the insulation. That actually reminds me of something I forgot to mention while I was in this room. We're back in the uh, adult classroom out there to the sanctuary. Uh, this insulation I think is really interesting. It's a spray foam insulation. They sprayed it on the walls and it's actually on every exterior wall of the church. Uh, and it must be doing a really great job because I was here, uh, like I said, last week uh, and it was 20 something degrees and raining. And it was completely warm in here. Totally fine environment when it was frigid outside. So this insulation, uh, among being a neat way to do it, is also very effective uh, at keeping us insulated. All right, guys. Well, with that all of the way, I think we're pretty much done with the first floor here. So let's take a look at the second floor and see all of the neat things we have up here. Wow, you guys are quick to go up these stairs. So up here, we have a bit of an overflow room right here, along with a large pile of carpet, tileable carpet that can be placed down. Uh, so that'll of course go, I assume the stage, since there's carpet over there, and probably on some of these floors, maybe in the floor down there. Uh, but this place would be a great place that we can put extra chairs in the event that we need someone else to be able to overlook over to the stage. Right here, there's no wall or anything, you just see the stage. Uh, in fact, it's a bit precarious here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but right here there is going to be, but there currently isn't a handrail. So this is a uh, death sentence right here if you slip. So I have put you guys in a bit of a precarious situation here. Uh, you guys are standing on the edge, 
right now. But you're overlooking here into the sound booth area. This is where we'll have the soundboard for audio, the computers for the videos on the screens, and maybe even another one for live streaming to uh, give you guys the best experience here. This is a great place to be able to overlook everything and to be able to control what you guys see and hear every Sunday morning. So right off of the uh, overflow room is right behind you, but right off of it, right through here is an unknown room. This is just an extra room to be used however we need and uh, whatever purpose we give it later. This could be yet another overflow room. This could be a youth room, a game room. This could be just another a classroom, a Sunday school room, whatever we need it to be. This is just an auxiliary room to be used uh, however we will need it in the future. Now these rooms are gonna get a bit repetitive, honestly, of what they look like. White walls, window. But this room, right off of the overflow here, second floor to your first left, this is gonna be most notably a library, but also an office for a youth coordinator or an office for anyone that we would have on staff could come here for studying, for reading, uh, and of course for their job duties. So this is just a library slash office. So we're looking down the hall right here, down the overflow room is right behind you, that, that big area facing the stage, library is right here. Down the hall, past this hallway, keep going down here, we have a little extra room right here. This is uh, potentially a bathroom, but at the very least I know it has a shower. Uh, a shower, of course, can be very beneficial for hospitality. Say a missionary comes down and they need a shower, they could potentially just be in this building. Uh, I know before uh, the youth has gone to other churches who had showers to stay the night while traveling, we could now uh, host other churches, youth programs, whatever, in this building and they could use that shower for that. It's just a great addition for hospitality uh, and for us to offer as a service to communities, to other churches, to missionaries, to anyone who would need one. So when you come down this hall, this is that one hallway here. It has two more rooms on it. Uh, another auxiliary room and then another, another auxiliary room here. Uh, these rooms, again, no purpose necessarily uh, designated to it quite yet, but it could be used classrooms, youth rooms, uh, activities, children's church, whatever we would need it for, these rooms will be able to do it. So this is the first auxiliary room here on the left. Uh, not much to see here, so let's just jump real quick to the second. And we're here in the second room now, uh, taking a quick look at it. Also, not much to see, like I said, white room, bunch of opportunities. Oh, also these rooms will also be overflow rooms. If we had a really big something going on, these rooms could be used to house people to see what's going on. So as we turn this corner here of the hall, we are looking here at our last room here on the right. Uh, so let's take a quick look at this last room here, and then we'll wrap this up. So coming in here, uh, we're looking at our last room right here, which is called by some people the mother's room. Don't know if that's its actual name, but what this room is good for is for uh, parents or mothers who would need to come in to uh, during the service and to care for a young child. Uh, this room, most notably, has this large window right here. Hey, look, they've added this trim. Neat. So right here, a big glass window will be here uh, and we'll pipe speakers into this room uh, so that people can come up here and can uh, provide care to their uh, young children uh, without interrupting the service uh, while still being able to hear and see what's going on. So y'all, that's about it. Uh, we've looked through most of the, build, uh, the rooms here in this building. Uh, hopefully this has helped you gain an idea of the amount of effort that's gone into this building. Uh, it's so impressive to me to see all the work that's been done by just volunteers. Uh, of course, we've seen some of that work and some of the evidence of that work, but we have not, I cannot show you all the effort in wiring, in heating, uh, in plumbing, all that effort that's gone into this building, not even to mention the planning, the purchasing, all that stuff. Uh, so I highly encourage uh, if you have some time, if there's an opportunity for you to come and visit the church yourself, uh, talk to the guys that are working on it, uh, all that stuff would help you get a better idea uh, than just this video. Uh, it's been, it's crazy to see the effort uh, the men and women of this church have put into this building. But other than that, thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to watch me ramble on about this building. Uh, and hopefully you guys have been encouraged to support or to uh, investigate more 
about this building. Thank you so much. Dang, I didn't even talk about these rooms. You guys are just gonna have to come and look at this for yourself. I can't even see where I'm at on the scene. Hello and welcome to our... I don't know, I feel like I should cut that out. I just don't like that either. Oh gosh, I'm so bad at this. Hello and welcome to... That's bad. Grass woody air... That's not, that's not good either. Okay, do this again. This is getting terrible transitions. Okay, that's a good idea. I'm not super happy about that. Oh my gosh. Hello and welcome guys. Today we're gonna to be taking a church Okay, we'll start again. So in here we have, oh gosh, that looks stupid. Fun fact, I don't know if I'll leave this in here, but this insulation is actually so good. It's such a good insulator that uh, if you don't leave a hole for oxygen, you could uh, deprive people of oxygen if this building is sealed with it uh, well enough. So either we have to intentionally put gaps in it to let oxygen in and out, or you have to have a uh, machine that is part of your cooling system, your HVAC system, that also pumps oxygen into the building. Uh, otherwise, everyone's gonna fall asleep uh, due to their lack of oxygen.